Today I'm going to be going over the throat lock a little bit more in detail. I'm going to be talking about some postural discrepancies that I often see and then how to correct those with specific postural exercises and we're going to be going over that right now. If you are interested in improving your posture, decreasing pain, and enhancing your overall wellness, make sure to subscribe and click that bell so that you can be notified when I upload my next video. So today I'm going to be going over the throat lock. It is a part of the Three Lock Mountain. If you have not seen that video yet, you'll want to check that out up here. I'm also going to stream my newest video which compares braces to Invisalign, which I had for two years, and I'm connecting that to the difference between the Three Lock Mountain and the Neutral Spine. So you'll want to check that out, and I'll have it streaming up here in a couple of minutes. The first one we're going to be talking about is leaning forward. So it's not the head forward, it's not collapsing at the diaphragm, I'll get to those, but it's just leaning forward. So say you're driving in your car. I will oftentimes see people who are just leaning forward. That's all they're doing, they're just leaning forward. So what I want you to do is I want you to, while you're leaning forward, if you're one of those people, I want you just to focus on your throat lock, this throat part right here, the middle part of your throat, and I want you to push it back so that the back of your head is then touching the top of your seat. I'm not talking about the chin tuck. It could be forward, and that chin tuck isn't going to do anything about your forward lean. Really important. Next is that forward head, okay? So if you're one of those, you're doing this. So say you're all the way back, but you're doing this. You're just really pushing that chin forward. You're going to take the middle of your throat, and you're going to pull it back, 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 back. If you are one of those people who has the kyphotic upper back where you're really, really rounded and you have an accumulation of tissue up here, what you're going to do is you're going to practice this throughout the day. So not so much of that chicken chin or the chin tuck, so we're not going to be doing this, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to pull the middle of the throat back. So you're imagining like you have a string in the back of your neck that is pulling you right here at the, at the middle of the back. So right here, now try and practice this with me. If you are a forward head, kyphotic upper back, that thoracic spine person, you want to practice pulling back. Pulling back. And another thing that you can do is you can imagine, okay, so you have a string at the back of your neck, pulling the back of the neck, and then also you have strings on either side of your ears. If you're it's really, really extreme, if it's a severe kyphotic forward head, you have that kind of action happening, you really want to tackle it. Remember that your head weighs a lot and what you're doing is you're putting an excessive load on your spine and we don't want to do that. So middle of the throat, you got the strings pulling your ears and your throat back. So I want you to practice that throughout the day and that is for you. So this one is for my people who are collapsing at the diaphragm. Now you could be doing all of them at once, but I'm just trying to detail it specifically so that you can see how important the throat lock is. I'll get to the diaphragm lock tutorial at another time, so make sure and subscribe and click the bell so that you get notified when I upload that video. I do have a zipping up tutorial as well. That's the pelvic lock, so I've already gotten that one taken care of and you can check that out up here. Oftentimes when we have a collapsed diaphragm, the head 
kind of does this. Do you see what I'm talking about? It settles back. So then what happens is that the part of the occipital, the base of the skull, comes closer to the shoulders. See if you can notice, I'm here in my three lock mountain. I collapse at the diaphragm. Here, here. Okay, so do you see how it rolls the shoulders forward and the head completely shifts. Now watch if I just focus on the throat lock only. I'm pulling the throat back, 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 back. I want you to practice that movement. Practice it with me now. If not, you can scroll forward to the next one. But if this is you, I want you to practice. Watch. You see how I'm leading with the throat? I'm locking the throat back, locking it back, locking it back, and it lifts me up. Collapse diaphragm, locking the throat, pulling it back. I want you to practice throughout the day. Start getting in touch with the middle of your throat and really just practice. It's a habit, so we gotta, we gotta practice that to change the habit. Do it with each of your meals. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Just practice. We're gonna talk about eating. Something that I oftentimes will see people do is they will have their food down here and they will do this. Instead of coming down and bringing your head down to your, your fork, what I want you to do is I want you to bring your fork up to your mouth. So if this is you, your job is to practice every time you eat, making sure that you are bringing your hand or your fork or your spoon, you wanna bring your food to your mouth rather than your mouth to your food. Next one is our phone, right? Similar to the food. I see this all the time. Instead of coming down here, instead of coming down here, right? Because it's the same position, watch this. I'm coming down like so. I'm collapsing in the diaphragm, I'm leaning forward, and my head is coming forward, right? My shoulders are rounding forward, all sorts of postural discrepancies. So instead of doing this, or instead of doing this, okay, you're going to stay in your three lock mountain. You're going to be active, dynamic, connected, intentional, okay, you're conscious. You're going to bring your phone up to your face. Everything is up to eye level. We want it eye level, you see? So just bring it up. If it's down, you're going to bring it up. Down, bring it up. Just this motion right here. Okay, do you see my spine? My spine is shifting. You're down here. You come up. You're forward. You bring it up. And again, pulling back on the middle of the throat with that string. Pulling back the middle of the throat. Pulling back the ears. Don't forget the string on the ears, okay? Try it. Leave me a comment. I want you guys to try these because these are really easy fixes. You just have to remind yourself to do it throughout the day. And you've got postural hooks all over the place. You got your phone, you got your steering wheel, you got your food, you've got all sorts of posture hooks that are going to cue you in to what exercises you need to be doing to change your postural discrepancies. The last one is when you're standing and you're talking to somebody who is shorter than you. I find that a lot of people are leaning forward, their heads coming forward, they really wanna make eye contact with somebody and so they're, they're really kind of 
looking down, you know, looking down, or somebody's really close to them, so they're looking down like so. They're really compressed here. So what you want to do is you want to step back away from the person, get a tiny bit of distance, and make sure that you're in your three lock mountain, and just bring your eyes down. So if you have somebody who's here, you stay in your three lock mountain, your throat is coming back, you're nice and locked in the throat, and your eyes shift down. It's as simple as that. That's all I want you to do. That is your posture exercise. Shifting your eyes down. You can do a slight nod, just don't let your chin come forward. And don't lean forward. Remember, we want to distribute our body weight evenly across both feet and forward to back. So if you're leaning forward, you have all your body weight leaning on the front of your feet and it's going to cause some issues around your hips, over the legs, and over your knees, right? So we want to think about those knees. If you are somebody who's tall and you deal with people who are really short, it is just, it, it's something that you have to consider. Sometimes what I will do is, because I'm 6'1", I have this opportunity often to practice, is that I will uh, stand with it, my feet further apart, and what that does is it helps me to come down a little bit lower, and then I'm able to more effectively be in my three lock mountain. So give that a try. If you're having a hard time practicing some of the posture exercises that I'm giving to you, leave me a comment or check out my contact information in the drop box down below and um, we can go from there, okay? Thank you so much for all of your support on my channel. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share with your friends and your family. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at The Posture Specialist for other stuff that I'm doing. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell. I look forward to doing another video sometime very soon. And until then, happy posturing.